And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Poros. That's right, we're going to be playing some Poros here on Meme Tier Monday. We are daring enough to play some Poros. We're going to be playing a, a mostly all Freljord version with um, the Frostbite cards, because I do think these Frostbite cards are just really good. And we're going to be um, pairing them with our Poros and our Poro snacks. We got one brand new card from the new set that we're putting in here, Aurora Porealis. Love this art, love this this card. Um, and just also, when you wish upon a Poro, look upon the night sky, you'll see the snacks among the stars. All sparkly in our eyes. That's just, that's just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, kudos to that. Um, so yeah, let's go have some fun. We're gonna try to, uh, yeah, play some kind of competitive uh, Poros. Um, right now, though, ranked is disabled. I guess if I, I mean, I could try it. Oh gosh, is is it now? Now it's enabled again. It looks like oh well, it's already back. Wow, it just got disabled like five minutes ago. <laughs> and so I was gonna say we we're gonna have to go on over to the normal queue, but I guess not. I guess, I guess we get to still play our meme tier decks over in a ranked. That was crazy. That was, I mean, that was even five minutes ago. That was like two minutes ago. That we just said that it was it was disabled. All right, let's get rid of these harsh winds for now. Um, we'll keep the daring Poro. That was crazy. And we're leading with daring Poro because we're on the attack. Other times, like normally, like if we weren't on the attack, we'd be leading with the Omen Hawk because saving daring Poro for whenever. Um, like, if we have uh, Professor Von Yip. Can be nice. The Lonely Poro. <laughs> the Fearsome Poro. This art is just amazing on the Sinister Poro. Look at him. <laughs> hey, it's Matt with the tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Matt. Thanks thanks for the sub. That's our eighth sub of the day. Hogtie bot's a little behind. Looks like. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. All right, get to draw some more Lonely Poros. Just go ahead and block like this. We need heart of the fluff. That's the poro we need. There it is. Heart of the fluff. Come along, little ones. What have I told you? Stay out. Awesome, Matt. Good. Glad yeah, glad you're having fun with, with Az Karma. There is a challenger Poro. Um I don't remember what region it's in. It's probably Noxus, but yeah, there is a Challenger Poro. It'd be a good Professor Von Yip to turn all these things into being a lot bigger. Alright, so we're going to block here. 
light. It's not. There we go. Block here. Block here. Block here. Callista will level up, but it's fine. It's whatever. Um... Heart of the Fluffed is basically our Sejuani. Wish we had a way to pump up these other Poros so this would this Heart of the Fluffed would be bigger than what it is than what it will be. I need to be like what like eight power I'm just gonna be casting it over the jubilant poro Eight eight. Eight eight. Fearsome, elusive. So we got a two turn clock. And we can we can use like all these harsh winds and everything to protect. That's super rude. All right, next turn we have eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I guess we're only gonna have eleven mana. Six. Yeah, we're playing Ash because Ash is very good instead of Brom because Brom is not very good. It's really as simple as that. Like Brom doesn't Brom doesn't actually do things to help this deck. Like it doesn't like Brom doesn't level up ever. And um, therefore it doesn't really actually do anything because it never levels up because it always dies. Or they just kill you and ignore Brom. So that's three. down to four. So how are we going to get 16 points of damage across is the main question. Not and ready. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So close. I guess this level's up for 15. Oh, I am so close. Oh, come on, Professor Von Yip. Really? A little late, I would say. A little late. <laughs> Why'd I have to play all these? Why could I just saved it and banked up spell mana? I should have just done that. Should have just not played these. And banked up spell mana. Quite right, quite right. Alright, well we can't really kill them. I really hope my opponent loses to, like, they're not being nice, but if they lose to Poros, that'll be pretty funny. Enjoy a good Darius emo. I too serve. The time is right. Strike now. Third glimpse beyond. They're drawing just a ton of cards. So we got Crystal Arrow now, so if they can do something before combat, we got that. they shall get. They have to find removal for Ash. If they don't, they're in trouble. Which 
Of course they have, because they've drawn a million cards. Okay, okay. All right, we have to draw like a Harsh Winds or a Black Breeze. We need an Instant Speed at Frost Breath. Oh, wow. That would have been nice to have. Come on, Instant Speed, Frost Breath. Nope. It was, that game was honestly really close. We had like a, t you know, we actually were like pretty close to killing our opponent with the Ash. The turn before they they died, but then they found you know like the three glimpse beyonds. They found enough removal for Ash. If I would have had the Professor Von Yip earlier, it would have made a huge difference. You know, we played, what, six, seven, eight, one mana Poros before we, we found the Professor Von Yip. All right, not do anything until turn four. But that's all good. Part of the fluff. Use their removal. Of course, waiting to play this daring Poro until after I play Professor Vaughn. Yep. So we get a 3 3 Poro. Go ahead, attack. I dare ya. I dare ya. Too scared. Too scared. Faster than my arrow? I think, I think not. not. So now they use removal on Ash. They don't have removal for the Rhymefang Wolf or the other way around. Show me a target. 
Um, play the archer first. Why don't you like Swain? I mean, it is true that Swain's not Swain's not amazing, but um, Swain's really cool. Hey, new bloco! I am doing great. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for asking. Hope you're having a good Monday also. And we have some fun today. Brood Awakening. That was pretty brood. Broodish. Rude. I know, right? Aurora, Aurora Borealis. What a great card. Whoever thought of that card and everything deserves a raise. Just the card name. The the flavor text on the card is maybe my favorite flavor text I've ever seen before on any card. Let's play the Omen Hawk first. Guide our allies, my friend. Swain. Two out of five. Mm. Let's go hard to the fluff. Big elusive. Yeah, any anti burn deck? Um, okay, so, what an attack with Ash to be able to get the free frostbite to level up Ash. You know, it's basically using. It's kind of the same thing as like blocking. Stop. Stop being a jerk. I tell you. Winter take you. Um, 
yeah, mid range bannerman. That's a good. That's a good option for anti burn. Um, you basically you probably want to be like mid range decks. Like you want to be you want to be able to put a clock on them, and you want to be just a little bit bigger. But you have to have a lot of good early drops and everything like that. Um, usually having some life gain really helps. Creatures with life steal. It's like a bannerman with like radiant guardians. Probably want to be like that kind of bannerman deck. I think we may win this. Oh, I, I put that we're 1-0 and with Poro deck. We we definitely lost. It was a close game, but we lost. But we're surprised nobody said anything. We're 0-1. I wish we would have won. Let me attack. No. So rude. Get him, Poros. What do you call them? You're just hard of the left. Get him hard of the left. Doing that. Okay, okay. Return to us. Draw two poros. Those ones are daring. I basically want to do like I want to put this one down to, to three toughness, which is which is why I'd want to block here. But you know, like we could do this, and then we don't take the four damage. But then it's at four toughness, and we don't get to brittle steel uh, later. And then I would just have like this three toughness thing survive. This is honestly just a, a better block as far as like winning the board. It's it is risky as far as life total goes. that game yes that is ruination they're just playing like this this swain deck with like all these spiders and everything but they, they just randomly have three withering whales that were all great against my little poros and then plus just a ruination it's random Come on, we're just trying to win with some Poros over here. Give us a break. We don't need no ruination. Only Poro could be better to play. No one's the wiser. Because I'd rather block with a lonely Poro than block with a daring Poro. First big mission. Not and ready. They'll never see it coming. My life for Avarosa. Yeah. We don't need no 
ruination. Alright, we're just playing Poros and Doggies. Our deck's pretty cool. We got Poros and Dogs. We don't need no board control. Hey, Shadow Isles. Leave my poor alone. The nimble poro. Probably gonna draw Professor Von Yip now. Victory at any cost. All in all, you're just gonna... another poro in the sky. Hey, WQ. Ah, the herder. Let's go to attacks. Get eight in there. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Dude, all these poros are so cute. Let me show you what I can do. We have our kung fu poro. Ooh, the heart of the fluff. The heart of the fluff. Get a big fluff to Poros. <laughs> Look at this guy. This one here with his tongue out. And a punch is over here being a jerk. Decimate and stuff like that. <laughs> Can we win this one? If we can go to attacks, attack out, have. You know, challenge. I don't want to play anything pre-combat because I don't want them to be able to respond with a decimate. <laughs> this elusive quick attack. Poro. We even got the snacks. Make it a 7 7, if that matters. Maybe you need a closer look. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. This is so sad. Why does this keep happening? Just want to win with Fluff of the Poros. How do they keep on having exact lethal? Well, we're going to eat some snacks. Because we can. Why are they so mean?
So mean. They just have, you know, six direct damage during combat with three cards. I know, right? Yeah, we definitely need a lifelink Floro. Oh no, talk about a deck that's not built on having fun at all. The standalone deck. Um, I guess I send the Heart of the Fluffed back. I send that back too. So we have the Professor Von Yip, but this one drop creates another one drop. And with us having the attack token on turn one, just kind of wanted to play it to get the attacks started. Um, it's not worth one damage to have that thing be a 1 1 instead of a 3 3. He said, each time I play standalone, I get wrecked. Each time I play against standalone, I get wrecked. I have many faces. Yay, is that standalone? This is fun. Good news is maybe we can brittle steal that now. I don't know if there is good news. Like this? Oh, I see. Sometimes the the meme tier Monday decks don't, you know, they run into a hard time, you know, like. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, that still happened? Boo. Plunder Poro. Yes, our first time getting Plunder Poro. Plunder Poro can get us some lifesteal. Yeah, I wasn't 1-0. I, I wrote that in the wrong spot. I was 0-1. Nobody corrected me on it, though. I noticed it. But, yeah, I was... I don't want them to eat my Poro with us being able to get Poro snacks later. Okay. What kind of keywords you got over here? Oh, that's plunder? Right, not play. Plunder. That's why it's a plunder poro. No plunder, no. Just really wanted to use my mana. Um, but yeah, kinda wish we had. Uh -oh. 
Expecting them to rally. I just don't have like I mean I can I can flash freeze and then play the Rhyme Fang Wolf or they give them block with the Rhyme Fang Wolf, but their whole deck is like pump spell, so it's very easy for them to play a pump spell, kill my wolf, and then and then what? Then they rally, and then what do I do? Like at that point. I, mean, I guess I'm I'm jump blocking. Yielding spirit. That's this card's bad for me to see. The card's bad for me to see because detaining my heart of the fluffed. That's quite bad for me. Ugh, my heart of the fluffed was going to be really big. No, I didn't cast the other Poro snacks. Water changes but never breaks. Why is everybody such jerks against the Poros? I thought I was gonna still have time. I was just like, okay, here for now, and then let me you know, decide what to do. I thought we were still gonna have time to do that, but I. But I didn't still have time to do that. I didn't have any you know, I didn't get to didn't get to interact again. I I should have cast that, obviously. Okay, so they would have that was like their response that they would have done. So they would have they would have stayed at two. We would have dealt three damn like, but then I would have had this one to win like af afterwards. So like they would have had to have something for this one. We swim within the flows of magic. can't really risk them just playing like double twin disciplines and winning right so I have to block if they had twin disciplines they could have done that and blocked before Will the water 
Waters take. Waters are still a gift from the river folk. We can make an absolutely huge heart of the fluff. I feel like we should. I mean, that's just such a bad play against like Will of Ionia. But I just want to make this huge, huge heart of the fluff. Like we would just add all of this together. Yeah, Will of I Will of Ionia just makes that such a bad play. But that doesn't mean I don't want to. Man, we got like like half and half here. Like, please don't just win. Do it for the meme. But the memes. Now, how many times do we get three Poro snacks? We do, yeah, we need a win for the with the Poros. All right, the Poros got the win. Now begins a new era of peace. Even with my opponent having millions of emotes, I think that's it. I think if you play the Poros, you're gonna get emoted. That's just how it is. <laughs> Winning with Poros is already a meme achievement. That's true. We got to cast Aurora, Porealis, as well as three Poro Snacks. Herders, go get us more Poros. Aww. Look how jubilant this one is now. That was really cool that Lonely Poro turns into Jubilant Poro as soon as you play another Poro. Down to nine. Not blocking with the fizz. Time for talking. Have you met my shield? Wanna see a trick? Rough. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're winning. What's up, Toasted? A chill in the air. Looks like we are so far. Opponent surrendered! Ash Poros! Look at them Poros. 
That game was kind of Ash winning that game, but that's we got Ash and Poros together. Ooh, got another bonus capsule. Got three bonus capsules now for tomorrow. Poro win. All right, two and three with Poros. You know, respectable. Respectable two, three. Getting that Aurora Por Porealis. What a sweet card. You know, like... And some of those other losses were pretty close. Like, Ash, Ash is just really powerful. Unfortunately, I know, like... I know y'all want to have Braum in the Poro deck, but Braum really just doesn't help out the, the Poro deck, to be honest. Like, it, Braum never levels up. Um, this is the... Braum, unfortunately... I mean, I really like Braum as a champion, but unfortunately, Braum is the weakest champion by a long ways. And just doesn't really... Like, to play Braum, you have to play Take Heart, and you just have to play, like, other things. That, you know, like, it's just too many slots and everything. <laughs> yeah, the last game, you had Braum lost to Poros. That is a coincidence. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's our that's our Poro deck. It's you know it's decent. If you wanna if you wanna play Poros and you know have a have a decent win percentage, um, you know like it's not terrible. Like you're you're gonna win some games with this, especially because Ash is so good. And now hopefully you've been signing in the last seven days and you got your own Ashes. All right, for those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, let me know in the comments what do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday. What do you want me to build? I need your suggestions. All right, that's it here for Ash Poros. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.